Welcome back, everyone. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Life from the Toho 2. Been a few days since I last played. It's uh, been a long week. But I wanted to go ahead and keep on moving. Um, I do believe there's going to be a bunch of dialogue coming into the next floor, so got that going. Uh, one minor mistake I made for the um, the Tenshi fight is I, while I was setting up Kamachi to be as tanky as possible, I unequipped her Repulsion Orb. Which is not a problem, but I didn't actually give the Repulsion Orb to anyone else, which is my only- it was my only way of actually inflicting heavy. Which would have resulted in- if it had succeeded, I would have possibly not only slowed her down further, I would have been able to do more physical damage to her. Which, I was pretty close to actually getting killed. Um, I did uh, load the um, my other save and tried it uh, with a Repulsion Orb, but I ended up doing not as great. Um, it is really, really RNG heavy on, what, uh, on whether or not you do well. It's either that or you're super overleveled. Um, just simply because originally I thought she only attacked the far left one uh, character, but no, she just attacks whoever she wants. And the only character that can tank a hit uh, was was uh, Kamachi here. Um, in most cases, more than likely, uh, unless you're using K Kamachi and you're stacking a bunch of spirit and a bunch of health, uh, none of your characters can actually survive a hit from her. And, s and since it's completely RNG on who she hits, you can very well just lose your primary strategy uh, <laughs> pretty easily. Unless, of course, you know you, you, you have a bunch of characters you... Uh, that you want to bait the possible hit sap from, but yeah, there's it's a, it's a lot of RNG no matter what. Um, the quote-unquote easiest way to possibly kill her is using poison, but poison is not very reliable to apply because she's resistant. So it, like I said, it's just pretty RNG heavy. But surviving the the multiple turns, um, you can you can pretty much guarantee that you'll make it. As, if you have a whole party, she only kills ten people at most. Because you only single targets, so if you have a full party, you'll you'll eventually just went through sheer attrition. It was a little bit more dangerous for me because I was going with eight people. In any case, um, for right now, this is our party, and we're just gonna keep on going. So for six. Shouldn't be anything we need to worry about for now. There's a locked chest, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. So we had Satori, so we're able to get through here. And onwards. Alright, so this is the deep green forest that heard the pulse of nature. So we went from forest to underwater to jungle. My, what do we have here now? The train's all different again. Phew, we're finally out of the sea. Ah, this kind of place suits me way better. I'm not too sure this uh, that place could really be called a sea. What was it anyway? Who knows? Whatever the case, that sea-like area made me feel like I was floating. It was really good for sleeping. If I could bottle it and bring it back somehow, I would do, do so right now. That does sound good. If we could bring back something like that, I'm sure it would sell well at my store. We should give it a try once we take a break from the exploration. Ha, huh, I like your thinking, mister. Let's meet uh, up back at the inn and we can talk shop. Yes, yes, that can happen uh, when we actually take a break from the Great Tree. Exploration comes first. What kind of place is this anyway? It kind of lo it looks kind of like the forest in the first floor, but the atmosphere is a bit different. It's all damp and humid. It feels a lot worse. It could pass for a forest, but I suppose a more suitable description given the atmosphere would be that of a tr subtropical jungle. Think there'll be a lot, lots of bugs? Perhaps. It does look like a habitat for poisonous insects. Not like it matters. All we need to do is burn them all up. Sounds simple to me. And simple is good. Go for it, Oku. Gotcha. I may not have been able to strut my stuff in the sea, but you'll see the best of me here. Just remember that when you burn them all up, you don't burn us as well. And here we are. So generally, it's every three floors uh, they change the theme. And, this, and those three floors may or may not be connected as far as like the layout and puzzles involved. Alright, so here we are. It 
Ooh, hello. Shall we try you? How strong are you? 34. You are vulnerable to, fi uh, to fire. Normal to this. Alright. Oh, wow. Alright. Battery. Normal, normal. Uh, let's reduce attack and speed. Or just do terror, that's fine too. That still drops all stats by 8%. Alright, uh, super scope though. Physical actually does uh, extra damage. Good. 24,000. So yeah, the thing here is every turn uh, the Great Tree has, it will recover uh, a percentage of its health. Resistant. Normal. Alright, uh, we can do silence. Tag you out. Alright. Oh wow, just a full on heal, huh? What a dick. Alright. Hey Rumi, yeah, come help us out. Alright. Well, you two did just fine. In fact, I think all of you guys can just tank this. Weak against spirit, huh? Not bad. Okay, I think that AoE is physical, which is a problem. Still alive. Don't. Okay. I'm. We're pretty lucky that missed. I think because that would have killed a lot of people. All right. Great tree sap. All right. So we are strong enough to handle um, the FOE on this floor, which is good. We are pretty beat up, though. Pretty much every character that died just lost a ton of TP. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go with this. Level 25 boss? Do we really want to do a boss right now? Let's wait on that. I'd rather fight that boss at full health. Or full MP, rather. Flower divers. Well. Seven. Glow crystal, we've gotten one of those before. Oh yeah, we did get a new material, didn't we? Great tree sap. Uh, the delicious parts of the great tree sap collected in a bottle, just drinking it makes you feel re-energized. Did I miss you? What happened there? Great cheese leaf. I think we've gotten those before. Also, the uh, seam or kadama is actually a good thing. We actually need kadama materials for crafting, at least crafting cheap stuff. 
Yeah, we've gotten great trees of leaf before. Okay. What do you got here for me? Treasure chest key. Cool. Uh, I won't worry about opening the previous chest for now. I think we'll save it for whatever's on this floor. What do we have here? Oh, maybe someone's there. Oh, you're right. They look familiar, too. My, Raymu and Ko. So we meet again. Hiya, my my, you've gotten much stronger since we last saw you. Pretty rich coming from a pair way stronger than us. This is a good timing, we needed to talk t to you anyway. Tenchi's aiming for you. Tenchi, huh, the celestial. I suppose that means she's carrying the Ame no Murakumo. Eh? How'd you know about that? <laughs> Our years of wisdom aren't just for show. There you go, Yu Yuko. It was the Ame no Murakumo after all, my prediction was correct. So I owe you a red bean soup with rice dumplings. I'll get Yomi to make you make it once we go back. I, uh, I suppose cooking the meals is one of my daily duties. To be frank, though, if she really brought the Ame no Murakumo here, then that makes things much more troublesome. If only it was still stored away. From the way she's speaking, she knows that I was holding the Ame no Murakumo. I don't remember telling anyone about it, though. I really can't let my guard down uh, guard down with this yokai around. Shouldn't we uh, start looking for the Celestial and the Ame no Murakumo? Hmm, facing her shall be our next objective, though since she's already looking for us, I doubt we could avoid her even if we wanted to. Thank you for the, the warning, Reimu. It's fine, but be careful, she's much stronger thanks to the Ame no Murakumo. My, is that so? A Celestial shouldn't be able to draw the out that much power from the Ame no Murakumo. Yes, she shouldn't. What could have happened? I wonder. Anyway, we'll be careful. The Celestial may be getting stronger, but don't forget that the monsters around here are getting stronger too. Don't let your guard down. See you around. Yes, it's time for us to leave as well. See you again. Don't let our guard down. It's like it's not like we ever could against these monsters. Now, now, don't be so bitter. We, we're getting strong enough to cross swords with monsters that those two can't let their guards guard down against. Guess that's true. Ha, <laughs> at this rate, we'll catch up to them soon enough. Better watch your backs, you two. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and go up a floor. The evergreen tropics uh, filled with eluding shadows. So I went up here for one, the checkpoint, but also to reset the encounter rate so I don't get beat up so much. But we're gonna keep exploring here for a bit. As much as I would like to get more experience and money and more loot, I don't exactly uh, have the stamina to spare for it. Especially when I take wasteful steps like that. Alright, boss there too. We're gonna come back for, her, uh, for whatever that is. I honestly don't know what it is. I know we have some Philosopher's Stones to still deal that we need to deal with, and that's about all I know. God, Rumi, Rumi does pack a punch. I think we boosted her, didn't we? I don't remember. Yeah, I won't bother looking. Alright. Oh yeah, we need to swap someone in. Uh, let's go with uh, Kenne. She won't be doing much, but she'll at least be there. Black Sticky Paste and a Lapis Lazuli Light. Pretty... yeah, we've gotten this before. Okay. Uh, let's tag you out. Let's bring in Kassen. Uh, no, we'll bring in... Nettery? So at this point, some of our characters are so fast they're not recovering MP, which is a little... Bothersome. 
or rather the the characters I was using in the front row were so fast that the other characters couldn't recover MP. Cold. Perfect. One big circle. Alright, we will go ahead and open this chest. Mana flower, nice. Main equipment, elixir and mages, a Sura blade, and a tome of inside affinity, and a tome of inside resist. Okay, those aren't bad. Um, so, Elixir Mages we already had before. Um, really the big thing is the, um, the Asura Blade. A truly ultimate weapon that has the highest attack, doesn't decay, and hits 1-3 to three times per attack. But the protagonist is too weak uh, for it to be useful. Turn him into an item bot and let the dragons handle their offense. Alright. 16 accuracy, 30% speed, and 40% attack is amazing. So I guess the question is, is there anyone... Okay, you're hybrid. I mean, the extra speed would not be bad. Um, we'll go ahead and give it to this to Mystia. Yeah, Mystia I think is... Someone I can definitely like some speed with. Actually, its speed is almost not, not that important on Mistia since she can instant action whenever you tag her in. So, you know what? We'll do Kossin instead. Yeah, she's still using bread as a weapon. We should probably not, you know, advise her to do something else with that. Alright. Wow, you're the f Comanche. Our tank is the fastest now. Good, go her. Instant death for everybody. Courtesan Sorrow. Uh, I think that's the uh, death resist item. Yeah. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so yeah, it's plus 50%. Or plus 50. Useful to have if you're ever going to get something that revolves around death. That one spot above us that is not revealed, fully revealed. It pains me. Alright. So the route we took took us in the exact opposite direction I want to go, so let's go this way. I would like to see if I can get to that... Uh, Trigger point. Not bad. They surprisingly they weren't resistant. Oh, the flower diver was. Insects exo okay. Exoskeleton concept of attributes. Alright. Well, I successfully did not go where I wanted to go. Uh, pieces of Alexandrite, always useful. That works.
At this point, I might as well just go along the edges, because that's where it wants me to go. Uh, I think they can handle this. That extra speed is probably actually allowing Kassen to actually keep up here, which is good. Alright, let's uh, tag in Mystia and Ren. Card Ruler of Heaven sub equipment. Okay, with uh, attacker level HP and an unlimited range uh, 2p attack at no cost, it's the best monster amongst them all. Three copies is standard unless rules forbid it. Its HP was reduced by one in the remake, but it remains uber. Wind uh, resistance plus uh, 100. Okay, yeah, I think that's everything. Alright. Yeah, this map just has a bunch of these little jagged areas. It's uh, a bit troublesome. Yeah, the fact that we can kill slimes just with raw physical attacks is uh, probably showing how strong we are at this point. But that's okay. I have to. I have to go and reveal this stuff. Must reveal map. <laughs> can I just kill you with a punch? Oh, thank you for the uh, extra attack. And apparently, I, I wasn't sure if it would do that, if it would actually carry over to the, an, a different enemy if the previous one was slain. But that answered that question. There we go. Wand, that's fine. What do we got? Uh, nitroglycerin, which we don't really need. We've been mostly just relying on our raw infinities and just relying on our, our raw level up stats to actually tank most of the stuff that's coming our way. That being said, it still feels like I'm... I don't know if this version of the game nerfed some of the enemies, but I'm pretty surprised on how well we've been tanking most of the AoEs. That big tree is kind of the first time in a while that we've actually encountered an AoE that killed, just outright killed a back row character. Luster candy. A candy that bo boosts all stats at once, so named because everyone lusts after it, but you can die before you ever see one. A skill that took the buffing role from the from the Makas, but you can expect greater things from now on. I think we've gotten this item before. In any case, it's actually pretty good for... Um, for um, Kamachi here, since she relies on sponge tanking. It also increases our evasion, which is always nice. Pick a sword ever. Cool.
you know, getting drops, even if it's like gear that we've already surpassed, it's still good because we can actually sell it. Which is good for both money and achievements. Rugged Horns times two. We don't really need Rugged Horns since we I, I've been farming the FOEs when they respawn. Alright, we're just about out of stamina for some of these characters. Actually, swap you two. Yeah, the, the, our main attackers are so fast now that Kossin can't actually regain MP, because our turn doesn't actually come up fast enough. Now, as I mentioned before, by the I record ahead, so I'm probably multiple months ahead of uh, everyone else as far as what what videos you guys are seeing. But uh, so far, the the videos I've been putting up, everyone's been rather excited. Even the people that have seen my previous playthrough, they want me to see me play this game again, apparently. So I guess thank you for the support. Uh, let's see. I can just punch you guys. Punch. Being able to punch and save... Uh, save uh, MP is always good. Alright. Um, so yeah, we got another one of those Shoes of Happiness, which is actually really good. Let's give it to you. So I do want to maximize as much uh, XP rate as possible. Unfortunately, I think some of our characters that are carrying those items I've already left and returned to uh, home base. Okay. Just a checkpoint over here for some reason. Yeah, there's literally nothing over here. So something will spawn over here eventually. Just short. Oh wow. Oh wow, we're just gonna take a hit here. That's okay. Stormy Selenite, so I think we've gotten those already. And I think I've already used them for equipment. Yep, we've gotten them before. Alright. Running out of time here, so let's see if we can. Oh wow, you're tanky. Mysterious structure. Mysterious structure composed of mysterious materials with a mysterious shape. These things uh, that no one can explain really tickle. Oh, yeah, we have gotten these before. Really tickle uh, Marissa's fancy.
All right, I don't exactly want to go too far over time, so uh, we'll go ahead and call it here, and uh, we'll continue. We'll finish up exploring next time, and then just do quick level ups, and then go right back at it again. So I'm the Depressed Hero. This is Labyrinth of Toho 2. I'll see you guys in a bit.